Welcome everyone, this is Al, Dakman Barry, and today we're going to be playing around with the 1973 Lincoln Continental. Now, normally I do the repairs myself, but I've been a little swamped because, as you guys know, the Ranchero is Swiss cheese, the bus is pretending to be a lawn ornament, and pretty much every other car has some sort of problem here and there. So, without further ado, ado, ado whatever, here we are. Actually, not bad. A little bit of leaking here. It's ready to go. Yes, there are no door panels in this car. But there's just something about a beat up old Lincoln that's just... $500. There's plenty of beat up old cars like this and basically you can find yourself something that has a good engine, good transmission, good rear end. Uh, it's just the owner doesn't want to or doesn't know how to do it. This one needed brakes and yeah brakes are really wonky. They feel even wonkier than usual. Well so what we did, as you just saw from the other videos, um, ball joints and bearings, they're a pain in the ass, it's an easy job, but just messy and dirty and not that expensive. Um, the car was pulling heavily to the, to the right. Now, what I'm noticing now is the car is pulling again to the right when I brake. So, this is a perfect example of One problem masking the other. Anyways, this is kind of like there's no how-to in this one. This is just me showing that you can have fun with a beat-up old car. It's a little amount of money and I don't care. It ain't no Lamborghini. Slow down for the little kids on bicycles. And that's, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Now I like 
like uh, revving it up, kind of get them into the car hobby early on. They're like, oh, cool, but I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is the car is not warm and it needs a tune up bad, which it's on the roster. Drive smooth. Does pull to the right. So I've been driving my trunk open. And we gotta go back. Or never mind, they're there. Oh, there they are. Little old help caps. So, uh, one of the main differences between the 72 and the 73 is the latch on the hood. And last time when I dropped it off, I burst the hose. A little coolant hose right underneath the air cleaner. Blah, right underneath the um, air cleaner assembly housing. And I think you can actually see it right. You know? So anyways, it's kind of like little things like this. Um, I'm going to do a tune-up. And obviously I'm going to do a full review for you guys. I know you love it. Uh, this is just me kind of still dealing with this beast. And as I said, there will be... Oh my god, look at all that rust. Yeah. Rust and holes. And last time, I don't know if you can see, but I covered up the big holes, but there's a little crack, and that's where the water's coming through. So I need to cut all of this out. And probably some of that too. But that is another project and another date. Anyways, but now the car arrives. Now it rides like butter. So, let's 
my blackjack because it was a gamble. <laughs> We must buy the wild cards of the car guy. So this is Al Dak, Matt and Barry, and I hope you have a great ride. Okay, that ain't gonna work. This is just me. <clears throat> me, Corona. 